but I find it simplest to illustrate it by hearing without comment so that you can get into tune with what is. You can't really get out of tune with it, but we don't know that yet. <laughs> Maybe some of you do. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the show. Trucking tendencies. Happy New Year. Hope everybody's doing good. Figuring this stuff out. Uh, I'm gonna do this one because it's a big storm coming in. Soft shoulders. Um, I have experience with soft shoulders. Uh, a terrifying one. And I can't believe the truck didn't flip. Thus. The highway patrol trooper couldn't believe it didn't flip, and the the heavy duty wrecker tow truck driver couldn't believe it didn't flip. So soft shoulders happen. I should probably look up some Google some stuff, right? Soft shoulders, but from basic, it just it just happens when it rains, and you're on the open highway, and you have a soft, you know the the soft shoulder becomes because it, the, all that mud gets um, wet and it becomes like all that grass just becomes soft and you have an issue so definition is it an unpaved strip of land at the side of a road yeah low shoulders happen on soft shoulders be very careful um, so it happens more often like in, I'm going to guess like locations like the Southeast, the North, no Southeast, the Northeast, uh, up around like San Francisco and, uh, Oregon, Portland, Washington, all those areas are just always like the precipitation on that in those areas is always high and it's carry like and also like i want to say houston houston and um corpus christi around that you know that borderline in florida you probably have a lot of soft shoulders in those areas so let's read this from this is work safe work safe tsi tci.com you may have been driving along at some point and you've seen a sign which declares that there is a soft shoulder up ahead, and you may have wondered exactly what that means. First of all, the sign itself is a cautionary sign, and its purpose is to inform you that the berm up ahead is made up of material made up of made of a made of a material which is not the same as the hard asphalt or concrete that you're currently driving on. That means you should avoid driving on it because there could be unexpected driving conditions on that soft shoulder and it could cause your vehicle to swerve or react to a change in the road surface. As long as you stay on the legitimate road surface itself, you should have no issues. With a soft shoulder sign or the area it's trying to make you aware of. So, question, what is a soft shoulder? What does a soft shoulder sign mean? Generally speaking, soft shoulders will be made of gravel, packed dirt, or some combination of the two. This is in stark contrast to the material which is used to pave the road itself. It is the fact that there is such a difference between these two road surfaces that provide potential for danger. A soft shoulder sign is meant to warn drivers about the difference in these two surfaces and to alert everyone that driving on the shoulder is likely to be hazardous and unstable. Not only is it dangerous to drive on a soft shoulder, but it is actually illegal. So keep that in mind as well when you see one of the signs. Soft roadside, roadside should only be driven on in case of an emergency. And even so, you should be prepared for your wheels to lose traction when moving into a soft shoulder roadside lane there will also be some hazards if you attempt to brake while on the soft shoulder especially when two of your wheels are on the soft shoulder and the other two remain on the road surface itself 
because there is a disparity in the level of traction on the two sides of the car it is possible that your vehicle might go into a skid and that could cause you to ultimately lose control in most cases soft shoulders are also at a lower level that than the actual road surface so there will probably be some hazards associated with steering when you have at least two wheels on a soft shoulder berms are often included on the sides of well traveled well-traveled roads so they can be used for an emergency stop as well as for traffic control by authorities most countries install berms on the right side of the road unless it happens to be for a right hand driving country like united kingdom or australia in which case they'll be installed on the left side of the road hard shoulder versus soft shoulder probably most motorists have been have seen soft shoulder signs and are aware even if only vaguely about what it means and how to react to it fewer people are aware of the meaning of the term hard shoulder although it's not much more complicated than the soft shoulder concept a hard shoulder is that strip of land immediately adjacent to the road surface and situated on the right hand side of the road in the united states this will generally be paved surface made of the same material that the roadway itself is constructed of so that there shouldn't be any hazards with stopping on its on this hard shoulder or temporarily driving on it in an emergency in fact that is at least part of the intent of having a hard shoulder installed in the first place they are meant to provide a refuge for any vehicle which becomes broken down in transit so they can safely be channeled away from the traffic flow hard shoulders are also du also double as an emergency lane traffic can pull over to over to an in case of emergency and get off the road to allow an ambulance to pass by for any other instances than these it is illegal to drive on a shoulder even it's even if it's considerably softer than shoulder driving than soft shoulder driving. There will also be occasions when traffic police may direct you to drive by on a hard shoulder because of an accident or because a collision has taken place on the road up ahead. Obviously, this is the situ this is a situation that supersedes all ordinary traffic con regulations. And since you've been directed by a legal authority, it is perfectly permissible to drive on a hard roadside. There are also times when a traffic sign will direct you to drive on the hard shoulder because of ordinary driving lanes are out of usage for some reason. If you do end up driving on a hard shoulder for some period of time, be alert for a sign or other indications that you should return to your normal driving lane. Yeah, and you might also pick up a nail, so don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Um I can only imagine if like you have some sort of um family emergency. So you need to get somewhere because of your family or your kids or something, you know, that you know like you know, something maybe like your wife is having a baby or something, right? Wouldn't you take that? Uh should you drive on a soft shoulder? In the vast majority of cases, it is not advisable to drive on a soft shoulder for many of the reasons stated above. Your own safety will be jeopardized by driving on a soft shoulder because it's possible you might lose control when you have uneven conditions of traction between the wheels of your car. You may experience difficulties with steering, braking, and starting the car, staring, starting the car away again after having been stopped. The fact that a soft shoulder is usually lower in height than the roadway immediately adjacent to uh, immediately adjacent also presents some problems with safe driving and is another reason why you should avoid navigating down a soft shoulder a soft road shoulder. The only reason that you should be on a soft shoulder at all are to remove your vehicle from traffic flow when an emergency vehicle needs to pass by or if your vehicle itself requires some sort some kind of emergency service it is always better to have your vehicle out of the way out of 
out of the way of traffic flow if it's somehow disabled or has lost some aspect of operational capability. In such cases, make sure that your car is well off the actual road surface so that there's no possibility of being impacted by another any vehicle still in the traffic flow. Final thoughts on soft shoulder sign meaning? Hopefully the information above has clarified how you should react to seeing a soft shoulder road sign and what the constraints are for driving on a roadside, any roadside berms. If you or your organization has need of any traffic control signage, the one place in the U.S. which you should look at first is Work Safe Traffic Control Industries, Inc. Founded in 1993, the company has had more than 25 years to develop the very basic, the very best traffic control signage and accessories, which it makes available to all agencies, government bodies, and individuals to help maintain safety standards in your community. Contact us at WorkSafe Con Traffic Control Industries to inquire about the various traffic types of traffic control products which are offered or to obtain a quote for some specific group of products you have in mind. If the company doesn't have your particular product in stock, it offers a custom service which can prepare any kind of traffic control signage according to your exact specifications. Well, thank you very much. New Hampshire Division. Oh, these guys are in New Hampshire. Phone number is 603-224-0880. That's nice. Yeah, I, I'm i so, like, the reason for this podcast is for that, too. To bring awareness to being safe on the road. And that's cool. I mean, I'm all about it. And like a Highway 2.0. Upgrading the systems on the highways with newer technologies or basic technologies that can help you be safe but uh my story about almost flipping over the tractor dude this is nuts i was uh somewhere in nakakadoches or something like was that texas nakakadoches that's some weird strange name but i was picking up like i think fresh chicken or frozen chicken or i remember i'm not sure if i picked it up frozen and then they wanted us to defrost it or we picked it up frozen and then they wanted us to uh freeze it i don't know it was like one of the one of her, one of each but anyway this driver i was uh heading into uh, i want to say corpus corpus christi to deliver and it was on my birthday and i'm driving driving and, and it stopped raining so i didn't expect a soft shoulder but some driver was trying to like wave me down and and you know pull me over and i'm like okay so I pulled over and then I backed up when I was backing up to see um, I was too close to the side of the lane so I try to creep over um, more to the soft to the soft shoulder and to get out of the way I don't want to get hit so I crept backwards I don't want to say probably like the halfway uh, between the shoulder and the soft shoulder and the the truck was probably fully loaded 45 to 47,000 pounds or something like that uh i was i was maxing i yeah i was pretty much maxed out on the weight with that chicken and i it must have i think it was raining the night before and i it that thing dug into the into the shoulder and it was as as it was digging in it started to everything in the truck started going to the right like you can tell I had like a dream catcher and that thing was just I'm like oh man I'm like no 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 like I just kept like like going crazy I'm like this thing's gonna flip over so I stopped it and then I I think I tried to go forward a little bit and that's when try to get out but it wouldn't go and it just dug the it dug the all tractor tri trailer tires on the passenger side into the dirt and it just got lodged in there and if it, it scared me to death so i had a i didn't have any good service too so but i eventually got hold of, i think it was highway patrol and then i told them uh, i need a, a tow truck um my truck got stuck on the side of the freeway on a soft shoulder and uh they sent one out but then the officer showed up first and he was just amazed i'm like this thing isn't flipped over and 
it was uh and then the tow truck driver came up too and he was like what like the wheels on the driver's side on the trailer were actually not even touching um the the outside tire versus the inside tire the outside tire was not touching the pavement it was actually already off up off the ground ready to go just ready to collapse or tip over completely with that load and that would have been a that would have been a total disaster truck gone load gone job gone but i mean in, uh, above all of this it was on my birthday fantastic isn't it on my birthday but uh yeah thanks for listening and um hope you guys enjoyed that i know some rain is coming from what's that called from the um, pineapple express slipstream or something it's gonna rain a lot a lot a lot in san francisco and the uh, the northeast so be careful out there be safe and eyes on the road thank you